All right, here we go. This will be a little bit more of a presentation here. All right. See, I've got the live mode going right now. Okay, Eagle Eyes is working. I've got the dual diversity from each of the video receivers. All right. This one's powered up here. Velcro's worn out. These things are so old. I need to update a, a DJI video system. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, I should be able to take and then be able to fly out just as long. I think the new the new system now is good for like 15 kilometers. Yeah. I've I've gone miles, <laughs> miles with my setup. I am I using. Mean, I, I've gone feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm using such outdated technology with all this stuff right here, but I'm still having fun with it. Yeah, you know, I'm having fun. I mean, that's that's what matters. Yeah, you know, my old my old goggles and everything. You know, and oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, I need to go and get them out. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. All right. Otherwise. Yeah, let me see where I put my goggles here. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> You're in the box. All right. Yeah, we're about to take and launch off this uh, this big drag here with the KO 4025 motor. This sucker is a beast. I'm only using 6S. Has potential to go up to 8S without a problem. I'm like, eh, all right. You know, if I do that, it's going to be too... Uh, Two bigger four cell packs, and as long as I can keep the, the center of gravity exact where it's supposed to be, then I'll go ahead and try that. And that's mm -hmm. it's a rocket on 8S. <laughs> on 6S, it's going to be a rocket. Yeah, I mean, it had enough. It was only pulling 85 amps, uh -huh. which kind of shocked me when I went up to full throttle. It, it got about 60% throttle, and then it would that's where it stopped. It stopped at 85 amps. I'm like, maybe it stops at 85 amps because of the the 6s configuration on the uh, the esc so if you go up to 8s it has potential to go up to 200 amp or something close to that but i'm like all right well at least at least i'm kept within a, a safeguard and everything else but i've done everything i can to make sure everything is good um i didn't have the extra screw here but everything else is all tightened down and torqued in i've got all these in here I don't know exactly where that other screw went to. I think it's because of the other mount on the demon. And for the life of me, I could not get that demon to balance correctly. With that big motor right there, it was just too much motor on it. It kept going tail heavy. Yeah. Kept throwing a, a bigger lead weight on the front. And then just with the lead weight and the power pack without any batteries, the thing was already about 10 pounds. Really? It, yeah. It's too much of a, a, well, a weight I, differential just to try and get it to fly. So. <laughs> Yeah. I'll have to let you know. All right. Well, as for right now, yeah, we're in 2D mode. We are at 25 and a half volts. So, with uh, the 10 amp 6S pack, we should be able to maintain the battery voltage where uh, it's not going to drop a considerable amount. I've got the snail tracks going on the, the tablet. I even turned on the uh, turned up the the visual on it. So now hopefully uh, you can be able to see it in the camera. But yeah, I've got I've got Sean here to help me out. I definitely don't want to launch this thing by myself. No, the width of the speed lodge it's it's big enough to where my hand is almost just big enough to be able to handle it without dropping it and having this big. How many watches is that motor? <laughs> That big blender back there? Yeah. I'm using a 10-8 prop, and that right there, it has no opposition to that prop whatsoever. It spins all the way up, and it's solid. It, yeah. It will not slow down at all, so. Cool. <laughs> okay, so, now that I've got something here to block the batteries, keep them from moving any more forward, just in case, eventually I'm going to have to come on here and redo some of the laminate, only because the other stuff started peeling off and everything else and laid down to the original. I only did that just kind of protect it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, you about ready? Yeah. Man. Better time than <laughs> now, right? Yeah, all right. Sun's out. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, so that's right now. I'm just going to kind of wait to get into the goggles a little bit here before I fully commit and everything else. I want to make sure the thing's flying yeah. right. So. Alright, F6, F6, 
seven. F6. I'm not getting hardly any video at all. All right. So good. We now have telemetry and everything else coming from both receivers. So okay, a little bit more comforting. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. So let me get the recorder turned on. All right. Backwards. All right, here we go. Well, new antennas I picked up from, uh, I guess, Get FTV seem to work just fine too. These yeah. little things right here. Oh, those little little fox ears. ears. Yeah, the lollipops. Yeah, yeah. They actually work pretty damn good. <laughs> okay. Just like before, what I did, you know, I just wanted to make sure everything was working absolutely beautiful. Balance point was exactly where it's supposed to be. I don't have uh, the weight and balance for the camera, so that's going to kind of blow things out of the water a little bit. <laughs> but I think it'll probably it's, be fine. It's still, it's still CG, in, right? Yeah. Okay. It's where it's exactly was supposed to be. And I put a marker under here, I think, just to make sure. But uh, I went through and measured, and they said about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in front of the main spar. Yeah. So, as long as it's right there, I just want to double check. It's been a little bit since I've flown it. But, uh, all right, so, you better ready? Nope. Lock GPS lock. <laughs> GPS 3D lock. All right. Okay, just kind of throttle it up a little bit, just make sure. <laughs> Holy smoke. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Okay. Yep. All right. I'll walk out here. Okay. Now, whichever way you want to do it, I'm, I'm sure some people might comment on the the overhand. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's almost like the uh, the Douglas Dauntless, where you get a launch and your arms are just straight out to make sure you're you're completely clear. So. Okay. Let me go ahead and get the transmitter here. Okay. Whew. Okay, double check on something here. Okay, there. We're in 2D mode. All right. I think we are ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it just because you of this are. power setup. <laughs> just stay clear of the prop. And uh, remember, about a 45 angle straight back. So, okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> My trims are all the way forward. What do you need? Are you, are you out of here? I'm too, uh, the trims are too far down. Oh, damn. Yeah, I wanted to dive. You want me up, elevator? Yeah. Quite a bit. I'm, you got it? Okay. Oh, I'm on a full up trim right now. This thing, it's, it's probably because of the, the weight in the front. Uh huh. Yeah, that sucker's got a lot of power to it. I just, I'm, I'm kind of worried about when it comes in for landing if it's going to have enough elevator. Uh huh. Which way are you fighting it? Uh, full. Is it full up or full down? Uh, I'm. I'm about half back on the elevator right now, so I might just end up coming back in. Adjust See, that right CG. now, that's that's letting this thing go. It's almost full up trim. That's it, full up trim right there. Okay. So your nose heavy. Oh yeah. Right now, it seems like you. Uh, Roll trim seems like it's just fairly. Yeah. Oh, it's. Okay. Let's try and set up for landing here. Oh, I just 
try and keep the speed up a little bit if I can. Yep. Shut up. Flare, flare. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Safe. All right. <laughs> Man. Yeah, the trims were way out. They were full, full up trim, and I still had about half up. So, yeah, we're we're talking. Uh, it was going to definitely need a, a little bit more there. Okay. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I'm I'm really extremely glad that you were able to launch for me on this. That would have been miserable trying to launch for yourself. Oh no, it would have ducked into the ground easily. All right. Let me see how it looks on here. So, I'm thinking the best thing I can do, if I'm really going to take and improve anything, I need to move this vector to the back section uh -huh. here. I need to get it where I can move the battery packs back, and it can utilize all the space here, because right now, the vector is just taking up too much room in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other thing, too, is I could probably move it off to the side over here. If, yeah, see, the receiver's over here. I can easily move the receiver to a different location, but uh, that. So just, you were you were full up trim. Full up trim, and I was about half half uh, back on the stick Trying to, to keep, keep it, it from from diving into over, the ground. So you get a lot of uh, yeah, nose this, weight. Because of the battery pack arrangement, I have to take and definitely move this thing back. Otherwise, yeah. I can't even move a camera in here, and uh -uh. it's got more than enough thrust to basically lift. Any kind of camera. I could put the the GoPro Max on this thing. I see. You could probably put a couple GoPros, oh, an Insta good. 360 facing backwards. Yeah, and this way I can have two of these packs side by side here, the other two side by side um, back here, and then go ahead and, and get everything where all wedges in. These packs right here, they they work awesome. Uh huh. I don't think I really need an eight S out of this. <laughs> I will. So you said what, where were we at on throttle half? Oh, I, that? I only brought it up about half. And from there, when you went to launch it, it, it immediately dived down. I pulled almost full up to keep it from from skimming the grass. Uh -huh. You saw how close it got. Yeah, yeah. Now, like, wow, this thing is like. <laughs> ah. Okay, uh, hey, I just can... need a little bit of uh, lift trim. Yeah, it was uh, it was rolling to the right. I was able to use a little bit of left trim to kind of get it up. Okay, uh -huh. so. And then you need to. Oh, do you have any room? To, well, you have a little bit of room to come back. A yeah, little but bit. It's because this right here, where it's yeah. located, it's taking up too much of the room in the, yeah. in the pack here. So, what I would do is I would take and rearrange the room in here. Right now, it's 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 got tons of room back well, here. You got room, plenty of room right so there for the. I'm gonna end up putting the vector back here. Yeah. I'll take it out of here. I'll remove this box right here. I, I use this as a protection box. Uh -huh. But the way things are going, I could easily remove this box here and move it back here. And then I'll have to redo the wiring. Otherwise, this current sensor has almost no room to sit up in here. Mm -hmm. And it took me a little bit. I'm using XT90s and, and you got a collaboration. I've got 10 gauge <laughs> wire on, on here to keep it from getting overloaded. So, yeah, yeah this uh, whole setup, I mean, all right. So after that flight, I think it's definitely confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and move the vector back so I can go ahead and move the batteries back into this place here. This monster ESC right here, though, it's in a perfect spot. If I put the ESC right next to it, or the, uh, the vector right next to it, I think we'll be good to go. This might be able to sit all the way in here. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, basically get a good hard mounting for the vector. It'll be a lot easier to get yeah. hold of uh, everything well, inside here. Simplify or skinny that yeah that, that mount up, but I had to see if it was even going to fly and how it was going to fly with this pack. And that I'm only flying at one quarter throttle. It didn't care. This thing is <laughs> this thing is insane. I'm like I'm going to have too much fun with it. Yeah, it, it, it has plenty of juice. Yeah. So, get so that CG right. Yeah, this this is going to be awesome here. So, but the moving map, yeah, it showed it. Uh, okay, yeah, and the diversity is still working. All right. Yeah, I know the, the GPS lock, it came in from who knows where up here. <laughs> okay, but you can see basically, I, I didn't really go that far out. There's the snail tracks right there. And then oh, when, yeah. I, when I stand close to the tablet, then I don't have to worry about losing lock with the tablet. Yeah. So what I do then is I can take, 
Oh man. Ah. Yeah, zero. Okay. It should bring up the numbers again. All right. And it's still showing on here. Everything's still playing live. Okay, even if it logs out, turns the screen off, and it's still able to, to show everything, but yeah. Um that plane looks level right now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's uh the wings the wings are pretty much level where they're supposed to be unless uh the box should be pretty much at the level uh level spot on the top because it's resting with a piece of uh hard foam in the bottom and then it's able to well yeah it's mostly just with this right here because that's where the okay but it's a side with side this is showing it's off a little bit so oh yeah i can't get the uh okay i can't get the uh okay the vector but what i could do is go ahead and go through the leveling mode on here real quick yeah let me uh let me go ahead and kind of get this clear a little bit here just for a second and this way I can go ahead and well actually uh, it might just be this table but I don't know let me see if I can you don't need this oh right now, yeah right? since battery box is pretty much uh, useless at this point <laughs> yeah I can't believe it though I thought it was gonna work all right I guess uh, I must have had something turned on on it to yeah. cause it to go out okay let me go ahead and get this to where it's even if it's like this it should be fairly level but even this is showing that it's off a little bit yeah it's still showing that it's off to uh, a left hand bank so i'm just going to keep this out here just in case oh yeah yeah let me see if i can get the leveling to work here okay you ready uh -huh. one two three four five Oh, there you go. Okay, it's, now it's level. Your, your artificial horizon is level. Okay. What that does, it kind of trims it up, uh, unless I have to do the other leveling, but that's inside on the menus. But that's where you stabilize the gyro, so yep. I don't know if the artificial horizon may have just so, went off a little bit. Yeah, because it was one, you were fighting it. Yeah. And the right problem bank, is, right? when you go full back trim, that throws the settings for your, um, your autopilot, you're basically the, the leveling, so you can go ahead and make sure it's going to fly right. If I try and do the this right now, okay, you can see where it wants to go up now, but man, okay, it might have been because now we redid the, the leveling on it, so yeah, that's working. Yep. That's the way it's supposed to go. All right. <laughs> yeah, so after I get the, the fixes made, yeah. I absolutely have to move this vector back. All right. I'll be able to take and uh, rearrange the battery packs inside of here and get them to where yeah. next time we launch it, it'll, it'll probably just take just and, and buzz take straight off out at, that at a 45, 45 angle. Yeah, at that <laughs> straight 45, up. exactly. So, all right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that then.